Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've uh, I've never used debug mode before until last night, but I finally uh, tried it out last night. It's pretty cool. I wanted to do some experiments, so I just wanted to show you guys how you can enable debug mode and some of the cool stuff you can do with it. So first I'll show you how to actually turn it on. So to enable debug mode, uh, this is for Windows. I'm not sure how it works on a Mac, but on Windows you have to go to a certain directory. So it's under your C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, oxygen not included, and then the oxygen not included data folder. And you'll find uh, directories like streaming assets and probably an output log. So all you have to do is create a new text file. So new, just go new text document and call it uh, debug enable and just save that file and there you have a new text file debug enable and then fire up the game and it will allow you to turn on debug mode so we'll, I'll head back into the game so once you're in the game um, I have a special map I saved here called the lab where I've just kind of hollowed things out but you can start a new game and all you have to do to enable debug mode is just hit backspace and it'll bring up this menu here which lets you do many wild and crazy things. So now that you've got debug mode kind of working uh, the rest of the video is going to be about just playing around with some of the commands and some of the useful commands so let's check some of them out. Now once you have debug mode enabled if you want to see like what some of the commands are you can hit escape and go into options, controls and then scroll through here with this arrow and you'll get to debug keys and this shows you what all the debug keys do and I'll put a, uh, a list of the kind of interesting and useful ones in the description so check that out I'll basically explain what all these do because there's some of them are not clear like debug paint force flower like what the heck does that do so yeah like I said in description I'll describe what each each one of these does, the ones that I know and are interesting. So what are some of the things you can do? Well first of all the fog of war is off when you turn on debug mode. So here's my kind of laboratory so far. I've cleared out the whole map of everything. And you'll notice as of uh, at the outbreak update currently every map spawns with two natural gas geysers, one chlorine geyser and two steam geysers. Here's one and here's the other here. And as far as I know, you can't actually delete them, so I've just kind of walled them off. Now, let's say you want to build stuff, um, but you don't have the materials. You can hit Control F4, and then let's say you want to build a ramp. It doesn't cost any materials, you just build whatever you want. Um, pretty cool. If you're paused while you build things, um, they won't quite build until you unpause, so right now I'm unpaused. There we go. But let's say I'm paused and I build a floor. And then I try to build some storage compactors. It, it won't let me because it hasn't built it yet, so you have to just hit pause, unpause, and then, then you can build. And then you over here you have um, a couple options to clear things up. You can do destroy which will just make it go away. Or you can do deconstruct and it'll actually deconstruct it and put the materials on the ground. And then clear ground is, is cool, just cleans up all the things on the ground without destroying any buildings. One uh, other useful command is control F2 and that spawns in a new dupe. So there we go. Nickel is here. And you can just hit it as many times as you want. Oh, there's our little dupes. They're going to be very unhappy because there's no food there. Uh huh. <laughs> you can also destroy them just like everything else. So let's just destroy all this. I think you can only destroy one at a time. Oh, maybe not. Let's try to destroy two. Yep. Yeah. So they're there, they're gone. One of the other cool things you can do is the cell painter. So let's say I wanted um, so 
some algae. You can give it a mass, 100 kilograms. And temperature, all the temperature is in Kelvin. And if you want zero degrees Celsius, that is 273 degrees Kelvin. So let's say I wanted uh, some algae. You can paint it. Click paint and it'll just allow you to paint a big block of algae. And as you see, that's 100 kilograms per tile and it's at zero degrees. It'll warm up just because the atmosphere is warm, warmer here. Well, not that warm, but. Now, let's say I wanted um, a tank of water. So I've made a tank. Um, and now I can fill it with water. So I go up here, click water liquid. I'll do a thousand kilograms per tile. Temperature 310 is, is kind of a nice body temperature. It's, uh, I think it's 37 degrees Celsius. And then you can do fill and click here and just fills it up. Each tile being thousand kilograms at roughly 37 degrees Celsius. So fill is, will fill a box. Um, paint just lets you draw things in chunks. And there's some really cool stuff in here that's not in the game, like, let's see, helium liquid. Let's put that in the box. Ooh, helium. <laughs> uh, or ice. We have ice in the game, but I'm gonna paint some here. Oh, it melted immediately. <laughs> oh, just because it was 310. But let's say I wanted it at 50 degrees. There we go. Big solid block of ice. That'll start melting. One of the coolest things that they've added in the Outbreak update is the ability to make templates. So let's say... Well, I'll, sh I'll just show you one first. One that I've made. So let's say I want to... A 10 by 10 box of polluted water. Boom. So you just select the template from here. And then if you want to get rid of this uh, grid, you just go clear selection and right mouse button just to kind of stop it from painting. So now we've got a nice box of polluted water. But let's say I wanted a new template. Um, let's say I wanted to record. Let's say I wanted a little bedroom with a mess table. and a lamp. So let's say I wanted to keep this and reuse it. What you do is you go click this arrow with the green box which allows you to select things. Kind of draw a box around it. Now that it's highlighted you go into the save selection and type a name. Uh, let's say room test and save it. And now it'll appear down on this list. So now I have room test. Now I, if I click on it, I can just make as many of these as I want. Pretty nice, eh? Very handy. So if you come up with some interesting machinery or some kind of neat design, you can just save it as a template and stamp it out. So I, I found that I needed power a lot, so I uh, made a template for power. So under here, power plant power plant large so I just click this now this is a big template so it'll take a while to build but or load boom so here's my here's my power plant clear selection and it comes with six natural gas generators it's all wired up it's all see the wiring it's got all the gas piping it's got a vacuum or close to a vacuum here for the carbon dioxide exhaust it's got tons of natural gas supply for almost 500 kilograms per tile. So all you really need to kick it, kick it off is put a dupe in. And he'll power the pump, which will power all these natural gas generators. And then you can use it whatever you, for whatever you need. So you might want to just lead this heavy wet wire out to whatever you need. Just saves me building this every time. You can also just save it in your map as a new save file, but I found it was uh, useful to make a template for this. And if you don't need it anymore, I'll just let it, I'll let it run for a bit here. So instead of venting to this box, I'm going to vent it out 
to the outside. And I want to deconstruct this. So there we go. Now you'll see, like, because it's cold out here, negative 50 degrees, all this carbon dioxide that's coming out is turning into ice right away. Which is kind of neat. One other uh, useful command is Control U. And that turns the game into super fast mode. Like, if you look up here at the cycle indicator. So if you want to test some things out and make it go really fast, this is a perfect way to do it. And to slow it back down, just control U again. There's a slight bug with it where the animations for the pipes get all messed up. But saving your file and, un and re reloading it fixes that bug. It's still working, I believe, but it's just, just the animation gets messed up. I'm thinking of setting up a GitHub account, which is where you can uh, save uh, source code for programming projects and th these templates uh, we'll just take a look at them if you go back to your kind of Windows folder and go into streaming assets templates you can uh, see the ones we just made so you can check out let's check out a really simple one. Oh, let's look at the room test one so it, it's a text file it's a, actually a YAML file which it's not XML, but it's like a special format. It's a readable data file. So you can see the name at the top, room test, and then it's size, it's X by Y kind of coordinates. And then it's, uh, it defines all the cells, their temperature, their location in the grid or in the box, their mass, and then any special items that are in the template, like here's a dining table, it shows its location, what it's made out of, so you could, in theory, just edit these files manually if you if you knew exactly what you're doing. Let's look at a more simple one. I made one for a, a puffed. So here's a more simple file. The background cells are contaminated oxygen, and here's creature. It's under other entities, puffed, creature, temperature. So that's kind of the inner working. So. I'll set up a GitHub account and I'll put some of the templates that I make on that uh, on that account and I'll make it public so anyone can use it and then I'll eventually li link it in the description. You kind of have to change your way of thinking about dupes a little bit. They're more expendable than before and they're going to get stressed out. I mean, you can just delete the ones that get stressed out and make new ones. I set up this tiny little room for, for them just to keep them happy, but they're not very happy. So I've gone and made templates for puffs. So here's a puffed one. Let's say I want a new puff to just click and brings them in. Or maybe I want a morb. Here we go. And maybe I want a new shine bug. Now this debug mode, uh, it often crashes. There's many things you do that just cause it to crash. So it's not very stable. And right now it's lagging for some reason. Uh, there's one template that, there's a bunch of templates that come kind of pre-installed. And I removed a lot of them from my list because I'm not going to use them. But one of the really useful ones is the base starting base, which is just the uh, printing pod and a little kind of room around it and some food. You don't need the printing pod because you can just do control F2 to make dupes. But if you want to simulate a more real life situation, you can do it that way. Now destroy actually doesn't work on animals. But you can kill them off by uh, temperature or building a solid around them. Let's see, I built some ice around them. That's one way to get rid of them. Uh, I've made uh, some kind of samples of the elements here just to take a look at some of the ones that aren't in the game. 
So you got things like um, propane, which is really cool looking. Pyrite radium, which sounds like a nuclear material. Uh, you got steel, tungsten, clay. You got molten glass. <laughs> Magma we've seen. Iron and some helium. Helium is going to be really interesting because it turns into a liquid at negative 268 degrees. One other useful command is Alt Q, which does a teleport. So let's say I want this puffed. I can click him. Let's say I want him right here. So I, once I have him selected, I just hold Alt Q, and he'll appear over here. One other thing. Let's say let's say all your duplicates die, and you get this colony lost message. This will pop up. Um, and you can just dismiss it and keep going. So even though you don't have any dupes left, you can still play around and if you need more dupes you can just do the control F2 and you're, uh, you're back. So to kick off some processes you'll need dupes like this power plant. I needed a dupe to just kind of start it up. But generally once you have things built out you don't really need dupes anymore unless you're trying to simulate something specific. Let's do a few more fun things before uh, before we head out here. So let's make uh, let's make some ice and let's make some magma. Where are you magna? Magma liquid. Let's make you 2000 Kelvin. Put you inside the ice. See what happens. It's warming up, but <laughs> way slower than I thought it would. Let's do 2,000 kilograms at 3,000 Kelvin. There we go. Oh, you can see the lava turning into igneous rock. The reason I set up debug mode is because I wanted to test out this thermal aqua tuner, and I'll do a separate video on that. But it's much quicker to build machines and test them out in debug mode than doing them in the game. It feels a little bit like cheating, but uh, it's fun to do experiments without wasting hours and hours and hours playing the game. I still like playing the game, but... Well, I hope that helped you guys out. Um, it's certainly fun to play with these commands and do tests and do little experiments. Brothgar is like uh, one of the YouTubers that does a ton of like interesting experiments with machinery and stuff. Also check out his channel, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'll be doing some experiments of my own on, on my channel going forward and just playing around with debug mode. I've put this in a separate playlist uh, about debug mode, so that's where I'll post future debug experiments and fun. So hit that subscribe button if you uh, enjoy these kind of videos, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.